identity. Perhaps one day you'll leave Singapore for good, with a ring on your forefinger and a foreign passport in your bag. It would probably take so much for you to denounce your citizenship and would still feel odd to go to the custom offices instead of the automated clearance machines at Changi. But when you look back and think of your home that never really wanted you in the first place, you tell yourself that leaving was a good decision to make. Your children wouldn't grow up stifled, with one foot in one world and another outside of it. Their eyes unable to read the complex strokes that pepper the island, and their tongues unable to curl around the syllables that society seems to favour. You've done as much as you can for them by moving into a nice, inclusive neighbourhood with a renowned international school and absolutely no history of hate crimes, but you still fear for their safety every time you bring them into the city centre. You miss your family and friends back in Singapore every single day and still feel a pull towards the tiny red dot that you used to and privately still do call home, but you refuse to be sweet. When the time came for you to turn in your red passport and your pink IC, you did so with your, help, with your head held high and the belief that you don't need to be Singaporean to be you. You don't need a declaration of your race and a piece of plastic to be told, to be sure of your identity. Your identity is a part of you. Brown. Mothers always remind their children to stay away from darkness, come home before nightfall, avoid all dark corners. Don't talk to people with dark skin. Movies always show us that good exists in the form of white people in white clothes, blessed by angels in white robes. No melanin allowed. There are two hands. One a pretty shade of ivory, the other a dull, murky brown. Crossed. Light atop dark. Instantly four times fairer skin that keeps getting fairer. Dear angry brown girl, use this potion on your skin and never forget that light always trumps darkness.